Hey, this is Clint Garrett, Ace Networker. What is in-band, out-of-band management on a network switch or router? You'll hear these terms being thrown about by computer network admins and technicians, but what do they mean exactly? Stay tuned. So, in-band, out-of-band management. If you haven't watched a previous video I made showing what a managed switch is, I'd highly recommend it as it shows what we mean when we actually manage a switch or a router. But when technicians and admins talk about in-band and out-of-band, what exactly are they referring to? To make this simple, I'm going to show you the traditional and more commonly used method that a lot of computer networks use for managing their switches and routers, and that's what we refer to as in-band. Now, in-band management simply means you've added an IP address to overall switch or router configuration that allows it to be communicated with over a remote connection, much like if the, that switch or router were just a desktop, laptop, printer, or server somewhere on the network. Giving it its own IP address for management is what allows it to be reached remotely to make changes to its configuration. So when we say in-band management, that simply means we're remotely managing that switch or router over the existing network. Again, this is the most commonly used method for managing switches, routers, and other networking devices over most computer networks, so it's not unusual or unheard of. But so if we refer to managing devices over the existing network as in-band, what does out-of-band mean? Most higher-end switches and routers, and many servers as well, are made these days with a management port specifically for managing that device from a remote connection. But these management ports are connected specifically for just that, managing. The management port on a switch, router, or server is not going to pass normal network traffic like the other ports do. Again, most of those ports on the, on the front of the device. And so that management port is not going to pass normal traffic, normal network traffic, and it can and probably will cause issues if it is connected to the normal computer network. So when you look on a switch or router, and again some servers, you'll see this management port specifically marked as management, manage, or out of band. This is where the term out of band comes from. You're outside the normal band or network on a separate connection. You'll find some computer networks, especially the bigger enterprise level networks, with the normal network setup using all the ports normally on the routers and switches, and then you'll have an entirely separate out of band network just for connecting to and accessing the management ports or out of band ports on the switches and routers. When this type of setup is used, it's referred to as out-of-band management. And to offer a little more clarification here on the industry itself, when you have separate out-of-band management networks or outside the normal computer network being used, they will not have the same bandwidth or volume of traffic that you will see passing on the normal computer network. Well, again, on the ports on the front. So oftentimes you'll see slower, smaller switches and connections used on the out-of-band network than are needed elsewhere on the network, on the primary network. I've even seen what they call dumb terminals connected to the backs of switches and routers that are utilized just for the out-of-band network to keep it simple and functioning and allowing access to each switch or router's management when needed. So to keep this short and sweet, that's the difference between in-band, out-of-band management on a computer network and on the devices on that network.